time become death, the destroyer of worlds. I suppose we all thought that one way or another. Causes of conflict. In August 1943, Robert Oppenheimer wrote a message stating, it is possible that the Germans will have to make a large number of atomic bombs by the end. Unfortunately, as we know, the Germans did not possess nuclear weapons during the war. Yet, if a country had successfully developed nuclear weapons earlier, it could have been a significant factor in winning the battle. So, what prevented Germany from having this weapon? Was Hitler not interested in using nuclear weapons? On January 6, 1939, German chemist Otto Hahn and his assistant Fritz Strassmann sent a manuscript to a German scientific journal reporting that they had detected and identified the element barium after bombarding uranium with neutrons. Shortly after their article was published, Otto Hahn communicated his discovery to his former colleague, Lise Meitner. Meitner and her nephew, Otto Robert Frisch, confirmed Hahn's discovery and identified it as nuclear fission. A few months later, in September 1939, Germany initiated the Uranium Project, or Uranverin, shortly after Hitler announced the invasion of Poland. Uranverin, was a Nazi German program to conduct research in nuclear technology, including nuclear weapons and reactors. By the end of 1939, German physicist Werner Heisenbeck calculated that if nuclear fission reactions were slowed down and controlled within uranium machine, it could produce significant energy. However, if the reaction could not be controlled, it could result in an explosion many times more powerful than conventional explosives. In the summer of 1940, Carl Friedrich von Weissacker, a friend of Heisenberg, referred to research and writings by scholars from England, Denmark, France, and the United States, to conclude that if the uranium machine could sustain a chain reaction of nuclear fission, some more common forms of uranium, like uranium-238, could be transformed into plutonium. Like uranium-235, plutonium is also a chemical element that can be a very large explosive. German researchers knew for sure that to create this weapon of mass destruction, they needed to produce a significant amount of uranium-235. However, the challenge they faced was the need to separate isotopes to produce uranium-235. As a result, German scientists attempted a method called thermal diffusion to separate uranium-235 from uranium-238. However, because this method was considered ineffective, they eventually abandoned it in 1941 and turned to another method known as centrifugation. One part of the controversy over the German Uranverein project was in September 1941, when Heinsberg and Niels Bohr met at the Copenhagen meeting. During the meeting, there was a misunderstanding on one side, because Heinsberg vaguely intended to tell Bohr to stop the Allied nuclear project, because Germany was also unable to make nuclear weapons. It is not certain that Heinsberg was trying to betray Germany, but the possible reason why Heinsberg revealed this, because he was very sure that Germany did not have enough resources to make such a weapon. On the other hand, Bohr thought that Heinsberg was trying to steal information from him to leak it to the Germans. Although Bohr misunderstood Heinsberg's intentions, unfortunately, he was already angry and left Heinsberg. The Copenhagen meeting between Heinsberg and Bohr was also one of the factors why the US was serious about working on the Manhattan Project, because they thought that Germany had gone very far in researching nuclear weapons. More than that, the reason why Germany never succeeded in making nuclear weapons was the personality of the scientists. 
A simple example of this reason can be seen when German citizens were very confident that the war would end in 1942, but on the other hand, German scientists did not seriously consider the idea of making atomic weapons. As we know, the manufacture of nuclear weapons is not a short time, and requires a lot of time up to years. Even when German scientists were detained in Farm Hall, England, Heinsberg, Tell's lack of cooperation between scientists became the reason why the development of German nuclear weapons was slightly hampered. One example of the lack of cooperation on the German side can be seen, when Gerlach and Abraham Esau quarreled, when they wanted to control the use of heavy water. The end of this conflict saw Gerlach control all atomic research, while Esau refused to cooperate. In addition to that, Germany's mistakes in the development of nuclear weapons were also due to Nazi policies themselves. When the Nazis were in power, Hitler officially issued anti-Semitic policies that caused great Jewish scientists in Germany to flee the country. Some examples of great German scientists who fled include Albert Einstein, Niels Bohr, Enrico Fermi, and others. With the escape of these brilliant scientists abroad, Germany, of course, lacked personnel to work on the uranium project. If we compare it to the United States, the Manhattan Project involved around 250,000 people in various divisions, while Germany only involved about 100 people. Even worse, the Nazis at that time required all their citizens to participate in mandatory military service, for the sake of the war effort. In fact, towards the end of the year, before the war ended, many scientists halted their nuclear weapons research to work on other urgent projects, or to join the battlefields. Besides the shortage of personnel, money was also a reason for Germany's failure in carrying out this massive project. Compared to the United States, Germany spent only about $1 million on research, while the US spent more than $2 billion. At that time, Germany was more inclined to spend its funds on developing missile weapons, rather than the uranium project. Not only that, this situation was exacerbated by the lack of laboratory facilities and engineering spaces in Germany. During the war, many scientists conducted research in small houses, and some even in caves, to avoid bombings by the Allied forces. This was in stark contrast to the US, which used specialized locations like the University of Chicago Laboratory, and Los Alamos for its research. One last material aspect that hindered Germany, was the slow adoption of graphite to moderate the speed of reactions. At that time, Germany was still using heavy water for this purpose. As we know, the heavy water storage facility in Norway was repeatedly sabotaged by the Allies. In 1943, Germany was forced to relocate its heavy water to a safer location. However, in the end, this relocation of heavy water was once again successfully sabotaged by the Allies. With only 2.5 million tons of heavy water remaining, Germany had lost hope of developing nuclear weapons. <laughs>